good, good, good. <laughs> no kidding. Good morning. Uh, my name is Chris and um, live here in Vermont and this is the house that I've designed and built in the last year and a half, new construction here. Um, I was thinking about the whole heating system for this house. I've heated with wood all my life, generally a wood stove inside, and I wanted to do something different. I wanted to keep the mess outside, so I wanted a wood furnace outdoor. I wanted to be able to go away in the wintertime, so I um, uh, wanted a propane backup for it for the winter, but then the rest of the time I wanted an inline kind of uh, on-demand hot water heater. So anyway, uh, I told Steve Kramer, a friend of mine who I played hockey with for a number of years and I knew was an excellent plumber, I described to him my um, design in my head. And he, um, uh, as a matter of fact, just went to a weekend uh, seminar uh, workshop for uh, heating and he came back and he said, Chris, I have just exactly what you need. I have uh, a whole system that will work in your house really, really well. And I said, oh, that sounds good. He described it to me and I said, okay, we'll go with that. Hi, I'm Stephen Kramer of Kramer Services Plumbing, Heating, Air Conditioning out of Londonderry, Vermont. And this is Dennis Donia, my lead foreman. We were referred to this project from Mark Miller of Miller Construction out of Jamaica, Vermont. Some of the requirements from both Chris and Susie was that they wanted to continue using an outdoor wood boiler as their primary heating source. But at the same time, if they were to go away for an extended amount of time, they needed a backup heating source besides wood, and that is the propane. Also, they were looking for ample domestic hot water to supply their showers and baths. And then finally, they wanted to have small zones for either bedrooms or bathrooms or anything in between of multiple water temperatures. And for that, we requested the Versa Hydro as the right choice for them. The perfect fit for this house was the Versa Hydro. The Versa Hydro offers multiple systems in one. It has a domestic water storage throughout the tank of 100, 119 gallons. This is the principal backup heating source of propane. The heating pack is for your hydronic side of the system. And then below is a coil that you could use for either solar or geothermal or outdoor wood boiler for this case. In Vermont, we use a lot of wood boilers and more and more demand is there for us to incorporate a wood boiler into the heating system. This tank is 96% efficient. The principal backup propane heating source has a five to one turndown ratio. And the heating pack for the hydronic side of heating the house is a 10 to one turndown ratio. And with the buffer tank, and the outdoor wood boiler, we have ourselves a high efficient condensing system. The new Versa Hydro offers our customers an all-in-one appliance that produces hot water for domestic and home heating applications in one elegant and simple to install appliance. The Versa Hydro saves money on the installation and consumes less energy because it utilizes technology that makes it both highly combustion and thermal efficient. Because the Versa Hydro is a combined appliance, it saves considerable space over traditional domestic hot water and home heating installations. The most amazing part of the appliance is how it performs. This product consumes less gas, produces less emissions, and is virtually maintenance free. So some of the needs of the customer was he wanted to individually zone each of his bath bedrooms upstairs in the house. He likes a cooler temperature at nighttime, while his daughter may like a warmer temperature upstairs at night. Um, this house also has multiple zones of radiant heat on the first floor and also on the second floor bathrooms. So we had to incorporate both high temperature and low temperature zonage into the Versa Hydro. So what we did was we used a Taco rating mixing block and this mixes down the water temperature down to what the outdoor reset is calculating and in return with these three speed circulator pumps it will supply the, the load to each of the room individually or floor level I should say. Um, besides that over here we have a higher temperature zone another Taco three speed circulator this zone is strictly for the panel radiators that have been designed for 150 degree water temperature. And 150 degree water temperature reassures us that the return water temperature coming back to the boiler is below the condensing point. And that 
is the best way to get the ultimate efficiency out of a vessel like this. 96% you're getting the true efficiency of that. Uh, besides that, we have a controller here. This controller is communicating with the outside wood boiler and with this double 10 stainless steel circulator it will tell it to turn on and off when there's a temperature differential of 7 degrees. So when the homeowner decides he's going to light a fire outside, the sensor, the wood boiler controller, a simple solar controller, will tell it to turn on the circulator here and in return will supply energy into this tank and it will load this tank up, a large mass, 119 gallons, and this tank will stay very warm, hot and ready, and when there's a call for heat, it will take away from here without any ignition source of propane. The heat demand requirements for this job were 27,000 BTUs of the 150 degree water temperature for the upstairs bedrooms for the panel radiators. The panel radiators are a European style wall mounted panel radiator with a white powder coated finish on them. The downstairs zones were radiant to heat. Those five zones had 105 those five zones had 105 degree water requirement and that heating load was 43,000 BTUs. So if you take the 27 and the 43,000 BTUs, if you take the 27,000 BTUs and add that to the 43,000 BTUs, we're at about 80,000 BTUs of a heating demand for the heating system. On the coldest day of the year, which up here in New England we do design as minus 20 degrees. The, boy, the appliance itself offers a 30 degree delta T. We have calibrated that into the uh, to the controller and that will either tell the ignition source to turn on or not or just utilize stored energy inside the appliance itself. There are certain times that the appliance itself won't even have to turn on the burner and it will just go on out and distribute energy throughout the home to help heat the house. So with the heating appliance of 119 gallon storage it leaves the the appliance and passes down through a primary circulator along this way here and back. It goes back to the appliance to be reheated via outdoor wood boiler or propane, whatever the heat demand or whatever the heat source may be at that particular time. So we offer this is a typical piping system here, where it's primary and secondary. We have closely spaced T's, a set of service valves to purge or possibly shut off the system if you're ever up fixing or have to do a repair and it passes through for our lower temperatures, our five zones of radiant heat designed at 105 degrees. Uh, we have a take-o mixing block that is going to mix down the water temperature and allow it to pass by at 105 degrees and these circulators speed up and slow down to meet the required temperature. Another set of closely spaced T's for each zone hydro hydraulically separate it from the mini primary secondary zone that's here. Each zone has a thermostat that passes down. Each zone has a thermostat that passes down the message that it's a heat. They're asking for heat, so it comes to the relay board and in return the relay board tells the circulator to turn on. At the same time, that message is passed over to the Taco mixer block, which at this point uses outdoor reset capabilities and either mixes up the temperature to 105 on the coldest day of the year, or it can bring that temperature down to possibly 90 or 92 degrees on those shoulder months of the year. In New England, we use wood boilers quite often, and the homeowner had requested that he would like to have a wood boiler incorporated in his house. So what we have done here is the outdoor wood boiler passes energy through these pipes, communicated from a solar controller, which monitors temperature outside and passes along the way, and if the delta T differential is more than 7 degrees, it will tell the stainless steel double 10 circulator to turn on and energize and place uh, energy uh, to place BTUs into the bottom of this appliance. The, the stainless steel circulator we chose because it's an outdoor wood boiler with an open type system and that means that the open atmosphere could possibly break down a cast iron circulator or rust and we don't want premature failure so we've chosen the stainless steel circulator because that will not oxidize and rust throughout the year or throughout the heating seasons. We've incorporated a Y strainer to help pull out any debris that possibly could be coming in from the outside water or any contaminants. 
And then we have a set of two thermostat gauges that tells us the delta T coming in and leaving. So that way we can monitor what the appliance is absorbing and see a true performance of what this appliance can do for us. For a quick electrical understanding of the system, we have thermostats in each of the rooms upstairs. We have three zones of panel radiators, which are on the higher temperature water, and we have five zones of radiant heat throughout the rest of the home. Well, they need to communicate with a box like this. So the take a relay box here has individual thermostat wires that pass on in, and when a call is, is required upstairs, the thermostat will close. In return, the relay will pass over high line voltage to your circulators along the way to distribute that energy from the appliance up to this uh, heating zone that is being requested. The take a relay box also has another wire that passes from here to either the mixing block or the appliance itself. At that time, that sends the message to the appliance, hey, we need, we need hot water to heat this house, and the appliance can make the decision if it should ignite or not. The appliance has the capability of a burner, high efficient burner, that has the 5 to 1 turn down ratio again, or the plate to plate exchanger of the heat pack offers a 10 to 1 and that circulator is communicated with the relay box and also the 925 controller of the system and the circulator will either speed up or slow down on the heat pack in order to supply the heat demands of the house. Here's your typical radiant manifold station. Here on this side we're using 150 degree water to distribute out to the panel radiators in each bedroom. On this side we're using lower water temperature to distribute to the staple up radiant that's throughout the first floor. Each one of these can communicate with the take a relay box and either turn on and off to help give you more control of your heating system and comfort. These small zone actuators can open up just one panel radiator or they can open up all five. It all depends on the request of the thermostat and again communicating with the take a relay box back to the appliance. Some of the benefits of this project was I was able to use one vessel which gave me a small footprint. I saved on both my time and my labor and I was able to move on to my next project. And he uh, put it in, I've been in the house a year and a half and it works a treat, it's unbelievable. It really works well, uh, I couldn't be more pleased with it. So. In the winter time I don't use any, any, any propane whatsoever because I'm keeping the fire going when I'm here, it's wonderful. The shoulder seasons, um, it, it works really well too because it's keeping a small amount of water warm and it recovers very quickly and the heat loss is, from what I understand, pretty much nil, so it's very efficient. I've looked at the numbers and uh, stuff from the gas company and I've spent so little on propane, it's unbelievable. <laughs>